Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the first week of November reads from the 1st through the 7th of November 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Virgo. So Virgos, let's see what's coming in for you for this uh, week time. I will be adding messages from your person as well in this reading, so stay tuned. Hand off I dive into the read. Let me remind you, it's a general reading. Hitman of may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what's coming in for you. We do have the death, nine of wands, the world, and the six of swords under the deck. We do have the well. Now, I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, there is something which is ending for you in this week time. You are walking into the month of November with some sort of ending. I feel like, you know, this ending that I see here is something that has been on your mind for quite some time. It can be you putting it into a connection. It can be you putting it into a job. It can be you starting a new chapter, a new phase of your life, walking away from the past. Now, I really feel like, you know, it's, it's more like a separate journey that you're getting yourself onto. It's like a journey away from all and everything that you might have been doing lately. So for some of you, it can be just the change of thoughts and patterns and everything like that as well. But for majority of you, I really feel like, you know, you're choosing to choose a different direction for yourself. A new phase is going to start for you in this week time. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, the sending that I see here is something that you have been contemplating about for quite some time. And uh, probably you are not finding the right way to deal with it, the right way to get free from it, the right way to break free from something. And in this week time, or this new mood, uh, month itself is giving you the opportunity through which you can break free from a cycle or a person or a relationship which was giving you nothing and but keeping you stuck for, for real. I really see you walking away from that and walking a different path. Uh, getting yourself on a new journey uh, during this this week time. You will be setting some new goals. You will be setting some no new um, uh, you know uh, criteria for yourself to to uh, to make sure that you consider whenever you do the next step in your life regarding that particular area of your life, love, work, or home life. I really feel like you know you are not happy with the way you handled things in your life before be that in love or work i really feel like you are stressed out and you are thinking and contemplating a lot trying to make up mind and decision about how you could you know become a better person so you could handle things better way so i really feel like you know it's more of a phase where you're growing up maturing up and in, in, in terms of how you handle love and everything around you in your life i really feel like you know what the good thing is that you're leaving the past behind. You're not letting your past kind of like, you know, make you feel bad right now. You're learning from it and moving forward. So for majority of you, it's, it's more like you're considering the life that you have lived as a learning phase of your life. And you are now walking into the next phase of your life with all the lessons that you have learned um, and thinking about it in a positive way. So there won't be any regret. There won't be any uh, negativity that you're going to take forward. You are just going to be like open to embark on this new journey for yourself. And um, I really feel like, you know, this week is the time where you are going to be um, setting some uh, criteria and goals for yourself to achieve. I really feel like, you know, you you have learned a few lessons uh, out of which is the most important is the, the, um, the way you got attached to something or someone, the way you have given in to something or someone and never got back in you know anything in return i really feel like you know you are going to be like considering the fact that you have to do all and everything in balance you have to make sure that it's always a give and take uh not like giving 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 all the time you have to make things balance and you have to keep things balanced and i feel like you know, that's exactly what you're going to be focused on now and this week time you're setting all those terms and conditions for yourself to look into before you settle in for anything so that shift i see coming up for you so i really feel like you know it's going to be a time where you are going to be more spending your time with yourself setting some new uh rules and regulations for yourself to follow so you don't lose the track let's see more cards here i really feel like you know for a majority of you it's more of you choosing abundance happiness love overall and everything I, and I really feel like, you know, it's more about you feeling loved by a divine. Uh, and if and there is something that didn't work out for you, you're not taking it as a, a bad thing. You're taking it as a, as a blessing in disguise. 
which is again a beautiful thing i feel like in for majority of you you are heading forward looking forward towards abundance and love work or home life so i really feel like you are open to receive your reward and you're thinking about your future positively let's see more cards here what else is taking place for you I really feel like you, know, you really want to make your life a celebration. You don't want to sit and cry over the spilled milk and, you know, just get nothing out of it. You're, you know, you are going to be celebrating your life to the fullest from now onwards. I really see it's going to be a new version of you that you're going to see in yourself in this week onwards. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you're still frustrated around whatever happened. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to look at life from a different and a fresher perspective. And don't let go, don't let the past hold you back and make you feel like, you know, uh, disturbed. This is the perfect time for you to let go of all and be peaceful from within. The love that you desire, the happiness that you seek will happen, will come through when you embrace peace from within and it's your free will it's your time to go out of your cocoon that you had created that oh if i find this person then only i will be happy or i will be loved if i get this then only i will get this and that be open and uh receptive to abundance to come through from all the you know all the ways i would say so i feel like you know there is love going to come for you but it's not going to be coming with the one that you wanted i feel like you know, it's going to be somebody new so open yourself up to that offer that I see um, might come through or the person that is going to walk into your life who's going to be loving you for who you are and value you for who you are as well. So let's see what are the messages of that person for you, whoever that is going to be a part of your life in the future. What's the message? You are and you will be my forever. I feel the love I desire with you and only you. I want us to be back together. For some of you, it can be a past person returning back for you. Maybe somebody that you're leaving behind is going to come back to you or would be wanting the two of you to be back together. But for majority of you, I really see you walking away and moving forward in life. Let's see the Oracle Guidance for you in the given situation. What is it that you need to be doing and knowing? <sighs> yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So I feel like, you know, whatever your ideas are right now, the divine really wants you to listen and go after that. Practically, uh, you know, um, take action around those ideas that you're having right now. It is going to be bringing you a lot of blessings. It's time for you to spread your wings. Don't hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Now, I really feel like, you know, the divine really wants you to move ahead in life. Know that you got the wings and you can fly. Know that you have the power and you create the life that you want and desire. So go around it. Don't hold yourself back in any possible way. This is not the time for you to do so. It's time for you to soar. Um, and I feel like, you know, you can definitely feel this energy, feel this vibe from within. And uh, allow love and happiness in your life. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, week time. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read, take care. Bye.